And that, my friends, is my boy Scooter Trash Sandoval. That was my dog, man. We rode around the country together on this motorcycle, doing all kinds of amazing things. This Harley Davidson I speak of, this Harley Davidson that sold for $25, it was a $25 raffle ticket that won this bike. The thing about Scooter is, he passed away on me this last winter and it was a really hard thing for me. 14 years, I had him since he was about 11 or 12 weeks old. As you can see from that little montage, he's my absolute riding partner, man. I mean, him and I did a lot of good. So we took this bike together to every Harley Davidson dealership in America. You can see some of the t-shirts behind me there. And in that trip, we broke a couple world records, won the most miles in a country in a single motorcycle trip. We rode 88,000 miles in one trip. Across the country, up and down, we basically did circles in America to hit every one of those dealers and break that record. And after we did it, we worked with Harley Davidson here. Let me move this chair. After we did, we, we worked with Harley Davidson to give away Harley Davidson motorcycles to veterans free of charge. So I took this bike and Scooter and I set out riding across the country to gift veterans free Harley Davidson's. Ian, I want to hand you the keys to your brand new 2018 right. Street Glide Special. Shayla, here's some keys to a brand new Harley Davidson. We appreciate what you've done for our people. <laughs> I'm proud to give you the keys free to a brand new 2017 Milwaukee 8 motorcycle. Congratulations, man. Thank you for my freedom. All in all, Riding this bike around the country, we gave away, uh, I think, 11 motorcycles free of charge to veterans. Raised tons of money for charity, saw the world, made YouTube videos that created millions of views, and, uh, and this is a good time to tell you, if you do not yet, please smash that subscribe button to my channel and hit that bell icon down there. It'll give you notifications when I put up a new video. Anyhow, we smashed miles around the country on this bike, built it for performance and travel. Things like, Legend suspension, fully adjustable, Revo arc, the Legend suspension, front suspension as well, Kausmoto T-bars, D&D exhaust. The bike really is built with the best of the best parts, including like Thundermax tuner. The seat is super comfortable too. It's my signature ASR seat, and they were sold out around the country for a long time. They just now got them back in stock and they're almost sold out again. You can get them over at Zero3D.com if you're interested. But the seat's set up for touring, the suspension's set up for touring, the engine's set up for performance. This was mine and Scooter's ride. After losing Scooter, I had a hard time with a lot of things. But one thing I knew for sure was that I wanted to continue charity work. I had recently bought this campground, the Cape River Campground. I decided I wanted to save up to buy another campground. And that's when I made the decision to part with this bike that Scooter and I accomplished so much on. But I was really feeling torn about it. A lot of good memories there. It started to bring up a lot of memories of Scooter and I started going back through old pictures. It made me really question whether I was doing the right thing. See, I had decided to raffle it off to my audience because I mentioned in a video that I was gonna sell it and I got hundreds of comments saying, raffle it off so we all get a chance. I made the decision, I put it up online and then there was no turning back. And this is where the story gets really crazy, right? Because it's like Scooter sent me a message. It's like Scooter said he approved of me raffling this bike off. We hit the randomizer button and a name popped up. I called it off online. I'd never met the guy, never, never heard of him before. Come to find out he had bought a $25 ticket that landed him the title to this motorcycle. And I called him and I told him and I felt good. He seemed very grateful and, and shocked that he, he won the bike. And then the next day, I'm looking online and I find out this guy rides with a dog. It's like Scooter said, no, this bike isn't done yet. And not only is it not done, but it's gonna ride with another dog. It's okay, Adam, pass the torch. And I feel kind of like that's what we did with this bike. It's gonna take a new adventure with a new rider who also rides with a dog. He has even got an Instagram channel. It's called Otto and Gomez, where he has been documenting his travels with his chihuahua. I just still can't believe it and it, it just, it still just makes me so happy and excited because I just now know in my heart we did the right thing and it happened the way it was supposed to happen. And I'm just excited, I'm excited for him to take this dog. Cause check this out, not only does he ride, ride with a dog, does charity work with dog rescues, but also rides a Yamaha V-Star and told his wife 
that he's always dreamed of having a Harley Davidson. Now he's got his first Harley. It was the Harley Scooter and I rode. Now he's riding with his, I mean, it's just, it's just too much, y'all. I mean, crazy, crazy, crazy. The man bought one $25 ticket, won my Harley Davidson, and it's his first Harley, and he rides with a dog, and he's got an Instagram channel. Y'all, I'm going to follow his channel. I hope y'all do too, because I can't wait to see what this bike is up to next. Otto, man, uh, I couldn't be happier that you won this bike. Ha, ha, ha.